Early in our courtship, my wife Annalisa took me to visit Tom and Arlene, an elderly farm couple she'd grown close to during her teenage years. We stepped through the screen door and seated ourselves in the kitchen. The kitchen is small and close, dominated by the bulwark of a cast iron wood range dating to 1893. Add to that the encroaching cupboards, the kitchen sink and dish stacked countertops, a refrigerator, a modern electrical stove, and an overloaded coat rack, and there's not a lot of room to maneuver. The wooden floors are dark brown and unpolished, but worn to smoothness by over a century of boot soles. The table, as I've come to know over the course of many subsequent visits, is always happily cluttered with mail and pens and notepads and cookies and saltines and, always, a skippy jar filled with peanut M&Ms. The worn floor, the dim corners, the bacon grease undertones, this is the same kitchen I've known from clear back to my grasshopper-sized days in Sampson Township. These are not the kitchens of slick magazines and stainless steel appliances. These are the kitchens of clutter and stack, of the dish rag hung and the pans piled, of the countertop bucket spilling onion husks and potato peels. Company is happily received with no preemptive clearing of the decks, just clomp right in, boots and all. Your chair is waiting, more often than not left at an open angle, ready to receive the next visitor. What I'm saying is, the first time I walked through Tom and Arlene's door with Annalisa and stepped into that kitchen, even though I had never been there before, I knew exactly where I was. When Annalisa and I left that night, and after I had dropped her off and was headed back to my very bachelor home, there had been a key change within me. As I watched her laugh and trade stories, I saw signs of an old soul, a person who paid her respects and paid them to the sort of people much of the world passes by at top speed. Prior to our night in Tom and Arlene's kitchen, I saw Annalisa as beautiful, desirable, smart, and strong. More than enough, in other words, and easily more than I had earned. But as I watched how she honored Tom and Arlene with nothing fancier than honest talk and clear laughter, I began to realize I had found a person perfectly and unpretentiously matched to the roughneck kitchen of my dreams. <laughs> ¶¶